Hi, my name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable three-year-old little boy. On our channel, you'll find simple and tasty recipes using everyday ingredients. So for dinner tomorrow night, I'm making marinated hot dogs. This is something totally new to me, um, but I thought, why not? We marinate all different types of meat. So I have a pack of eight hot dogs and I cut them on a bias, not all the way through, but just kind of slits on each side. So I'll just set these to the side. Okay, so in the bowl here, I have some chili sauce and this is chili sauce. It's tomato paste, vinegar, and spices. To that, I'm gonna add a tablespoon of brown sugar. And of course, I'll leave the recipe in the description box. I've got some onion powder, garlic powder, salt. I'm only, only adding half of the salt that it called for because we're just trying to watch our sodium. Some black pepper and some mustard. It calls for a tablespoon and a half of mustard. Howard's not crazy about it, so I just added a tablespoon of the mustard and just gonna give it a good stir. All right, so I've got my hot dogs in a Ziploc freezer bag. I'm just gonna pour that marinade in and just rub that marinade into the hot dogs. Then I'm just gonna seal it and put it in my fridge for about 24 hours till I'm ready to throw them on the grill. So I forgot to add in two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. So I just added that into the bag. Now it's ready to go in the fridge for 24 hours. Okay, so the marinated hot dogs just came off the grill and they are really good. They have a, a nice little sticky kind of sweet sauce on them. And here is my plate. I'm just eating it plain just to enjoy the flavor. And I've got some Cool Ranch Doritos. Howard has the same thing, except he put ketchup on one of the hot dogs. And just in case you're not familiar, these are Cool Ranch Doritos. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, we are having grilled chicken and I marinated it in this Tony Sassery's Creole style chicken marinade. And I marinated it for 24 hours and threw it on the grill and just chicken thighs. And we're also having some rice pilaf in my cabinet in my kitchen. I've shown you all, you know, it's kind of overrun with food. So still trying to work on that. So I decided to make this rice pilaf that I picked up on a recent Tuesday morning store closing haul. And it's honestly, it's not that great. It doesn't have a whole lot of flavor. And then on the side, I decided to fry some purple cabbage. Now, normally I eat it raw, but I heard that um, purple cabbage has a lot more nutrients and antioxidants than just green cabbage, like 10 times more. So I wanted to give it a try. I'm trying to branch out with my vegetables this year. So I just, <clears throat> excuse me, fried it up like I would green cabbage with uh, bacon. And this is how it turned out. Um, kind of turned off a little bit by the color of it cooked, but I it tastes exactly the same as green cabbage. So I'm trying to get used to it. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having sauteed shrimp. I actually made this, I guess it's been a, a couple of months ago on our channel and it was so good. Last time I served it over white rice. This time I'm serving it over that leftover pilaf rice from the other day. But all it is is a pound of shrimp, half a stick of butter, and then you sprinkle on some um, um, dry Italian salad dressing mix and you just saute it and it's so good, quick and easy. We are having a Caesar side salad, um, and then we are using this um, Caesar salad kit from Aldi. I don't know why I'm having a hard time talking tonight, but quick and easy dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, trying out a new recipe in my skillet. I have one pound of um, breakfast sausage that I cooked, and then to it, I'm adding in some wild rice that I cooked. I'm just putting it right on in there. 
Now I'm adding in one can of golden mushroom soup. I don't even know the name of this recipe. I just found it online. Of course, I'll make sure to link it in the description box. I'm hoping it's not too salty. And then it calls for two cups of sharp cheddar cheese. I thought I had sharp cheddar cheese, but I don't. So I am using this queso quesadilla shredded cheese instead. I'm just gonna mix it all up and then pour it into a casserole dish and bake it for about 35 minutes. Okay, so here is the casserole all plated up. Howard and I tasted it and it does have a good flavor. It is a little salty, which I kind of expected, um, but it, it is good, has good flavor. Gonna be serving it with a uh, side salad with some Olive Garden salad dressing. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having True Texas Barbecue, which is a barbecue restaurant inside of HEB. They just had a new store open up in my area, so I went for their opening specials. I did record a grocery haul and you will see that soon. So Howard got the rib plate, which I actually wanted the rib plate too, but I decided to get brisket so we can try out both meats, but he got a rib plate with brisket baked beans and macaroni and cheese. And then I got mac and cheese, greens. They also had potato salad and jalapeno cornbread too, I think. And then I got um, fatty brisket. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time.